I am definitely not doing DK64 because that would take way too fucking long. <laughs> Also, fuck these chase levels. How do barrels even float underwater like that, and how do they even, like, get blown up? I mean, I know it's just an unrealistic video game, but still. You're going for the realistic graphics, you gotta have the realistic physics and the realistic gameplay, you know what I mean? I don't get how that even works. And people don't know what lemmings are. And when you think about it, all the 16-bit video games taught you so much about animal biology, it's ridiculous. Or not animal biology, but like, different types of animals, you know? You learned about bandicoots and lemmings and fucking hedgehogs and rodents and monkeys and apes. And you learned so much about all these different animals. Well, not about them realistically, but the fact that like... You didn't really know anything about the fact the animal even existed before, like, I didn't know what the fuck a bandicoot was before that game came out. Sure as fuck didn't know what the hell a lemming was before lemmings. Feel bad for lemmings, like, it was an amazing game when it came out, but then all the remakes and all that shit, and like, all the 3D versions just failed so horribly that it was like, the game kinda, like, died ungracefully, so to speak. But if you've never played the original lemmings, it is a uh, pretty good game. In fact, you could even argue that it's what RTS games were slightly built off of, if you think about it. You had to get a bunch of different resources of a bunch of different types of creatures that could do stuff, and then you had to organize those creatures all in synchronization to achieve a final goal. You know, if you think about it, Lemmings really could arguably be the very basic building blocks of an RTS game. If you really think about that. I mean, it's like you have ones that build ladders, one that builds stairs, one that blows up stuff, and then you have to actually upgrade some of them and stuff like that. Oh god, these levels. Now we're getting into some of the tougher stuff. I could actually blind you for a second when it shines in front of your face. Little touches like that. What the fuck are those things even? Are they just wheels spinning in place? Just floating wheels. You fucking asshole. Fuck my life! No, Donkey Kong isn't Diddy Kong's dad. I'm pretty sure of that one. I mean, I could be wrong though, if somebody wants to look that up, but I'm fairly certain that he's not. That was probably a bonus level there. Thirty-seven <clears> percent <throat> of the game, not too bad. Arguably it's actually more than that because we're not going for bonus levels and stuff like that. Bitch. Fucking speed running this bitch.
Damn, going buck wild on this bitch. Holy fuck, Nox. Oh. Going buck the fuck straight from goddamn Chuck Norris Wild. Fuck it, I don't even give two shits. I just want to get rid of this level. I want to keep my speed running going on. Donkey Kong Rule 63 is basically that fucking Dixie Kong or whatever. Not Dixie Kong, fucking Candy Kong. I want all these goddamn bananas. I mean, do you really need this many fucking bananas? Goddamn. I mean, look how many bananas there are. Jesus. And now he's gonna jump three times. And now I'm gonna fucking jump on his cock. One, two, three, four, whores. And then he choked on too much dick and he immediately passed out. He couldn't fucking breathe. The stream ends in uh, about 11 hours. Well, about 10 and a half hours. Yeah, this is pretty good music too. No, I didn't want to use it to blow up the fucking oil tank, whatever. Suck a fucking dick. I thought I could just jump right through the fire. I hate this part right here. This is where it's all epic. Oh, no! Okay, well, I got it anyways. Fuck it. Fucking orangutan fuckface. Eat a dick. Too fast. Too fast for my pimp cane, bitch. Alright, I've had about enough of your shit, motherfucker. No, you little fuck face. God damn it. The next stream after this is gonna be Sonic, which will be tomorrow. All of today is just nothing but Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. That bitch is going. Damn, I just launched that guy's ass. What the fuck? God damn it. I'm using a controller. All the way back here. All the way back here. Fuck you. Bitch ass. It's running fast as fuck. God, I'm such a fucking derper. Such a big fucking derper. Now what the hell do you even do here? Damn, Donkey Kong's mad. What the hell is up with this? You just got floating oil barrels. Well, I was gonna say, so help me God.
Boy, that's useful. Now just one level. Trick, track, trick! The only level in the game that uses this thing, I think. I feel like I'm in those Mario levels with the fucking moving blocks. Gotta do a beat. Can I hit this guy with this? Yep. Diddy Kong is floating along, no fucks given. Didn't hit him that time. you think they'd animate the treadmill, but I guess not. You only lose a life if both die, yeah. It's similar to rings in Sonic and stuff like that. If you lost when only one of you got a hit, this game would be fucking impossible. Well, not impossible, but you know what I mean. Wow. 